This American influencer wants to be famous, but now he's probably going to prison. So a few months ago, he got his first big viral moment while living in Japan. He live streamed himself harassing Japanese locals on the subway. You know, we're gonna do again. So that video blows up and the internet immediately hates him. What a loser! Leave people alone! He got a big forehead, but it didn't matter because he saw what worked. From that moment on, the guy, let's call him Johnny Salami, Johnny Salami was gonna live stream himself being an asshole to everyone on the streets of Japan. And he does a lot of this, live streaming and just pissing off the locals. But pretty quickly, Salami gets a bad reputation. Yeah, this you? It's me, yeah, what's up? I got a problem with you, bro. He even gets smacked in the face one time. If I go back and- Which I can't show you. And later he gets choked out. I'll hop in this girl which I also can't show you. He even gets punched in the head one time. Nothing. All right, you get it. I can't show you. But after all that backlash, did Salami learn his lesson? No, of course not. Here he is harassing another live streamer who was a Japanese woman who he just encountered on the street. Here's the crazy thing though. None of that terrible behavior really got him in trouble because I'm assuming none of it was technically illegal. Like I don't think making a live streamer cry is exactly breaking the law. But here's what's probably gonna get him sent to prison. One day he decides to randomly wander onto a hotel construction site and the workers there, they get pissed and they throw him out as he yells Fukushima at them. Fukushima, Fukushima. Whoa. Then, three weeks later, police catch him outside of a 7-Eleven where they were waiting for him, and they arrest him and charge him with trespassing for wandering onto that hotel construction site. Yo, somebody call Joe Biden. Somebody call the U.S. Embassy right now. So why did they come down on him so hard for trespassing? My guess is police had been looking for an excuse to bring him down for a long time. And finally, he did something actually illegal, like trespassing. That's just my guess. He now faces up to three years in Japanese prison, but hey, at least he got a little internet fame, right? 